and in the third step would be chain termination step. In chain termination step is the same as the chain termination step we saw in the in the reaction of alkane, photohalogenation of alkane. Any any free radical that we don't want them to react if they are reacting, that is a chain termination step. For example, suppose this Br dot, there would be many Br dot generated, not this only single molecule of Br dot. There would sing, single free radical will not be generated. There will be multiple bromine free radical. If those two free radical reacts among themselves, now that would terminate the chain. Because what will happen if you see in this reaction, when hydrogen is grabbed by this carbon, Br dot will be generated. And this Br dot will again go for reaction with the unreacted alkene to form this free radical. And this free radical will again react with unreacted left out HBr giving us the product and also giving us the reacting species Br dot. This Br dot will again go for this reaction forming this free radical. This free radical will again go for the reaction with the rest of the HBr and form the product along with the reacting species. So the reaction will perpetuate itself. The, now it doesn't require any external assistance of peroxide or radiation. This peroxide is taken in catalytical amount just to initiate the reaction. Once the reaction is initiated, it is self-perpetuating. So we are, it's, this free radical is generated in very, taken in very small amount just to initiate the reaction. Once it is initiated, it will go all by itself. So this is chain propagation step. Now if this Br dot doesn't react with alkene, reacts with another Br dot, then there will be no Br dot generated like this. So the chain will tend to terminate because uh, suppose all the Br dot tends to dimerize like this, then there's this, there will be no reaction with alkene, there will be no formation of product and there is no formation of reacting species as well. So that whatever amount of product we got will be, will have to sat be satisfied with that and the extent of reaction would be less. So these reactions should be avoided and nevertheless this reaction, the chance of a Br dot reacting with Br dot will be very less because in the system, alkene would be in a higher amount, so Br dot will have a greater chance to react with the alkene rather than another Br dot. So, but when the reaction progresses and it t comes close to completion and when the percentage of alkene remaining in the system is less, then the chance of this kind of reaction is high. Uh, and, and similarly, any other reaction, suppose uh, this alkene or uh, suppose Any other free radical is reacting. Suppose th this free radical has to react with HBr. Now instead of reacting with HBr, this free radical reacts with any other free radical or these two dimerizers. Then it will give a substituted alkane, a di-substituted alkane. Suppose these two free radicals react among each other. These two react and these two dimerizers. So these two dimerizers, it will give us an unwanted side product which is not at all required because our concerned product is this. And when they dimerize, what would happen? They would not generate Br dot. If this reaction goes, we get a product and Br dot is also generated. And if these two re starts to dimerize, then we re get an unwanted product and also Br dot is not generated. And if Br dot is not generated, this reaction will not happen to give us the desired product. So any other side reaction with any other free radical, all of them would be chain termination reaction. Fine. So this is the mechanism for this reaction and this is the understanding that this this would be anti markonef cough only when Br dot is generated and Br dot would be generated only when we are taking this peroxide. So when we take peroxide, then only the anti markonef addition would be there. If we take only HBr, there would be markonef cough addition as we saw in the last reaction. So that would be the difference. So this is also called as peroxide effect. The effect of adding peroxide is there is anti markonef cough addition. Fine. Now I have deliberately taken HBr in this reaction, not HX. Because HCl and HI, forget about H HF doesn't show addition reaction anyways. 
HCl and HI used to show Markinivkov addition reaction in the last reaction, but in this case there will be no peroxide effect. In other words, there will be no anti Markinivkov addition if we take HCl or we take HI. Let's see the reason why. But you have to remember this peroxide effect will be there only in case of HPR. The reason for this is with HF there will be no reaction because the second step of chain initiation this cannot happen. Fluorine free radical cannot be generated like this. Fluorine free radical cannot be generated like this because this HF bond is a stronger than OH bond. So a strong bond can't be broken and a weak to form a weak bond. So this N plus this F dot is more unstable than this O dot because fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen. So electron deficiency on fluorine will be more unstable than oxygen. So uh, to avoid to get rid of this oxygen free radical we cannot generate fluorine free radical. So with HF there will be no this ki kind of uh, reaction so we don't take HF in any kind of addition reaction. And the reason why there is no reaction with HCl is when we generate this free radical on alkene In the second step of chain propagation, the second step is this C dot has to grab a hydrogen and form a CH bond producing Cl dot. Now this step does not occur. Suppose if we complete the reaction, this hydrogen will get attached to carbon and Cl dot will be generated. Now HCl is a polar bond. HCl because there is electronegativity difference between hydrogen and chlorine. HCl bond is stronger than carbon hydrogen bond, CH bond. So in this case, this C dot is unable to abstract this hydrogen from chlorine and to produce Cl dot. But in case of bromine, the bond between hydrogen and bromine is weak. A because electronegativity difference is less than in this case because bromine is less electronegative than chlorine and B the size difference is even much higher than in case of hydrogen and chlorine because chlorine belongs to third period bromine belongs to fourth period and the size, size difference becomes too large in case of HPR for the bond to be substantially strong it becomes very very weak so this C dot easily abstract hydrogen in case of HPR cannot abstract hydrogen in case of HCl. So this reaction does not occur. The second step of chain propagation. So there cannot be any kind of addition via this step in case of HCl. So there cannot be any anti Markovnikov addition with HCl. In case of iodine there is another problem. Iodine is even larger atom than bromine. It is it belongs to the fifth period. So it is very large atom. So what happens if you see the first step of chain propagation, this free radical has to come and react with alkene. If we complete this reaction, iodine will get attached to a carbon and a free radical will be generated on carbon. We break a pi bond and we form a sigma bond. In case of bromine, this CBr bond is strong enough to break this pi bond. But in case of iodine, the size difference between carbon and iodine is huge. Carbon is a small atom belonging to second period and bromine is a huge big atom belonging to fifth period. So the size difference makes the bond weak. So this, this bond is very weak. Now this weak bond cannot compensate for the energy that is required to break this pi bond. So this pi bond is not at all broken by this I dot. So this step doesn't occur. So the first step of chain propagation cannot occur in case of iodine. The second step of chain propagation cannot occur in case of chlorine. And the first step of chain initiation, second step of chain initiation cannot occur in case of fluorine. So HF, HCl and HI do not show this reaction of anti-Markinivkov addition. So 
it is exclusively for HBR. That's very important to be remembered. Fine. And the Markov curve addition will be shown only by HPR. So that's all from this uh, uh, reaction. Let's solve some problems.